I'm Stan Kalish, and I'm going to talk to you about triple arthrodesis. Let's talk about what you have to do when you get prepared uh, to, to uh, do any of these surgeries, and be aware that uh, bone is necessary. Uh, Freeze-dried bone is okay. Bone from the hip is ideal. Taking bone uh, from the tibia is not such a good idea. What you need to do is understand you need to have the availability of any of these allergenic bone graft substitutes uh, uh, so that you can fill the defect. In, in calcaneal fractures, when you create a negative bolus tuber joint angle and it drops down to zero or below, when you elevate it with a big Sayer elevator, what do you wind up with? A big dead space, because that bone is gossamer. It's gotta be filled in. You can fill it out in with anything. Why? It's very vascular. So it's not like you're dealing with something that doesn't heal. Um, in these, we now have low profile locking plates. I won't spend a lot of time on locking plates, but they're wonderful, especially uh, for the calcaneal fracture. So now we have a conceptually no, we've diagnosed this, we've got CT scans, we've got experience, we've got a patient who can tolerate a four hour, three hour, two hour operation. We now have to say, how do you approach this? But traditionally, the orthopedic approach has been that all year incision, and we've modified it at the Institute in the, in the 5,000, maybe more now, uh, triples that we've done there in 40 years. Um, and again, the operation approach is dependent on the deformity. It's going to be a little bit different in a flat foot than it is in a cavus foot. Charcot foot is going to be a little different as well, the approach. Choice of fixation I just talked about and ancillary procedures to make sure that it works.